for this tutorial i'm giving you very me you know straight to the point i'm here how you doing that's great she works out she does yoga she acts up when she hear juvenile taking over for the 99 in the 2000 you know just a little fun cute hotter crap top thing going on so let's get into the tutorial y'all play too much we gotta go we got to go Okay, so for this tutorial, I'm using two and a half skeins of Patent Grace Mercerized Cotton Measuring Tape Stitch Markers and a 3.5 crochet hook. Everything we listed below. Okay, so let's get started. Make a slip knot per usual. Chain up 12 plus 1 for the turning chain. We're working on the rib band part. That's just going to go midway from your ribs to the other side midway. Okay, so once you have your 12, you're just going to place a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and single crochet all the way down. Okay, once you're done with that row, you're just going to chain up one and place a single crochet in the back loop only all the way down for a total of 12 stitches. And we're going to do this rib stitch for the whole band, just repeating that. Same crochet in the back loop only after you chain up one. I finished my bands. I have a total of 86 rows. Without stretching, it goes to 15. With stretching, it goes all the way to 20. So I have a really nice stretch. After your band, you just chain up one and place a single crochet along the top part of the band, aiming to place a single crochet in each row. Okay, so once you're done with your single crochets, count each stitch and divide by two. Being that I had 86, half of 86 is 43, and that's where you're gonna place your stitch marker. Now, get your other two stitch markers, and what we're going to do is count five to the right and five to the left of that stitch marker. This is for when the front of the part crossed. So, I'm just gonna count five, and place a stitch marker right in that fifth stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, boom. Placing a stitch marker right there. Got it, there we go. And I'm gonna do the exact same on the other side. Now, if you want less coverage, then just do two or three, like how I did in the purple top that I made, like back in February, but I felt like it was a little too much. The girls was just, ow, and I had to bring it back in, you know? So, that's why I'm doing five. Now, you can just take out that middle stitch marker, and we're going to work in the front and the back loops between these two stitch markers. Now chain up two, turn your work, and double crochet so you get to the stitch before that stitch marker. Okay, so I double crochet to the stitch before the stitch marker. Now I'm going to double crochet in the front loop to the next stitch marker. So you could just go right in that very front loop, the one opposite of you. So when you reach that second stitch marker, you're just going to double crochet in that front loop. So right where that stitch marker is, boom, boom, boom. Now you can take that out. 
and we are working on the first panel where we're going to be decreasing towards the middle of the top and not decreasing on the outside so basically where i'm pointing to is where we're decreasing on the opposite side we're not so my next row is a decrease row i'm just going to chain up two turn my work and place a double crochet in that very first stitch and decrease the next two stitches. How I do that, yarn over, do the stitch, pull through, boom, right into the next stitch. Pull through the yarn, yarn over and pull through all four loops. And we're gonna do this every other row, just on the inside of the top. Super similar to the other tutorial I dropped with the tie print. Ah, ah, ah. You already know you've been here. If not, you gotta press that subscribe button like a sub. Now, you're just gonna cro double crochet all the way down so you get to the end. Chain up two, double crochet back, and I'll meet you back there. So, I'm approaching the end of that decreased row. And we're not decreasing on this side, only in the middle of the top for this portion. Now I'm just going to chain up two and double crochet all the way down. So we get back to the center. So I got to the end and now I'm just going to chain up two. And this will be a decrease row. So we're doing this every other row until you hit about four to four and a half inches, depending on what size you do it. And this is the part that's like under the arm or whatever. So I did this for a total of 11 rows. So just for another reminder, to decrease, you're just going to yarn over, through the stitch, pull through, do the next stitch, Pull the yarn through, yarn over through all four loops. And yes, you're gonna do this for every other row. Okay, so I finished my total of 11 rows. And I placed a stitch marker where I measured around four and a half inches, which is like that under arm to front panel part. And I'll just place the stitch marker right there. And on the opposite side of the stitch marker, I have a total of 25 double crochets. And that's 25 double crochets is where I will be working at, right along there, 25 double crochets. So for the first row of this section, we're going to chain up two, place a double crochet in the first stitch, and decrease over the next two stitches, and double crochet all the way till we get to the stitch marker. So I'm back at the stitch marker. I'm just going to take that out, place one double crochet in there, chain up two, turn my work, and I'm gonna place one double crochet in the first stitch and then decrease in the next. We're only decreasing on the opposite side of where we decreased before. So we're decreasing on that outer part of the top. So just gonna place one double crochet and then decrease over the next two stitches. and double crochet all the way down. So I reach the end of this row. So I got to the end of that row, and now we're just gonna chain up two, and we're gonna make a decrease two stitches before the last stitch of this row. So now I'm just gonna so place just that gonna double crochet in that very first stitch. stitch. 
double crochet all the way down so I get to two stitches before the last stitch so I am two stitches before the last stitch I'm just gonna place a decrease in that over those two stitches boom double crochet in our last stitch And that's how it looks. We're only decreasing towards that flat, straight side of the top. So, next row, gonna chain up two. Turn my work. Double crochet in that very first stitch. And place a decrease over the next two stitches. So we're only decreasing when we get to the side of the flap. And I'm going to do this for every row until I get to four stitches. Now you can go to however many um, double crochets you want. It all depends on how wide you want your strap. I want my strap the size of four double crochets. So I decreased on that outside part until I got to four double crochets with a total of 22 rows. Now I'm just going to work on a strap, which I'm just going to chain up to and place a double crochet in each stitch. I do this for about 14 and a half inches with a total of 33 rows. So I just finished my 31st row and for the next two rows, I'm just going to place one decrease just to create a little point. This is totally optional, but yeah, I'm just going to place one double crochet in this 32nd row, then decrease over the next two stitches. And one double crochet in the last. Then I'm going to chain up two. And go right in there and place a double crochet and then decrease over those last two stitches creating a little point super optional but that is it for the strap and I'm just going to chain up one and cut the yarn Now to work on the second panel, you could single crochet all the way around to get to the other side. But like I said, I'm just going to chain up one and cut the yarn and reattach right at the corner to start my second panel flap ting. Okay, so I have a total of 49 double crochets right here. So I'm going to make sure I have 49 on the other side, right along there. We are going to work in the back loops when we get to that portion. Now we're just gonna make a slip stitch, a slip knot, a slip, yeah, a slip knot. You know what we make making, play too much. Make a slip knot and go right into that chain one space that we made. Boom. Get it together, use a little elbow grease if you have to. Pull, chain up two, and place a double crochet in that same stitch. And you just double crochet all the way down. Make sure you go into every stitch. Oh, 
Okay, so now I hit the area where we worked on the front loops, but this time we're gonna work on the back loops. So do some crochet right in the back loops. After that row, I'm just gonna chain up two and do my decrease exactly how I did the other side, decreasing in the middle for a total of 11 rows. So I finished my 11 rows and then I did my double crochet of 25 starting the section of where I did my 22 rows. And now I'm just gonna decrease on the outside like how I did the other section. We're just repeating exactly what we did on the other side. And I'm just gonna decrease outside till I get to my four double crochets and then work on my strap. And I'll be back when I am done. So I finished the strap of my second part and I'm just going to chain up one and cut my yarn. You could single crochet your slip stitch down however you want to do your border down to the part we're going to work on, which is the side part where we attach the straps. And yeah, I'm just going to cut the yarn, chain up one, pull through. So I'm just going to attach my yarn right there at the corner. So just make your slip knot attach right there. Once you attach, chain up two. And we're going to aim to place two double crochets in each row. All that matters is that however many double crochets you do on this side, you do for the exact same side. So make sure you count your stitches for this. And just double crochet all the way down. When I get to the rib part, I put a double crochet in each little single crochet chain. So right here, I'm just placing a double crochet in each of those single crochet chains that we did for the band. And I end up having a total of 35 double crochets for this side. After you do that row, we're just going to chain up two and we're going to decrease in every five stitches. So let me show you. Chain up two, turn your work, and double crochet for four stitches. So that's one, two, three. Four, and we're gonna make a decrease right there in that fifth, sixth stitch. Just decrease that together. And we're gonna repeat this all the way down. Now, if you get to the end and you have three or four double crochets left, just de make a decrease in the last two stitches. So, I have three stitches left. So I'm just going to place one double crochet in the next stitch and decrease those next two stitches. Okay, so boom. After that, I'm going to just chain up two and repeat the same thing that I did. And I do this for a total of 12 rows. Okay, so after my decreases, I got a total of 12 rows. For the last two rows, I placed two decreases in each row just to make it shorter. And now I'm just going to work on the strap, which I do the same amount in the same exact way I did the top straps. For a total of 33 rows with a decrease in the last two rows. So for my strap, it consists of four double crochets.
Okay, so now that I finished my strap, you're just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. After you do the same exact thing on the other side, just chain up one and single crochet all around your whole top. Now here you could do any type of border you wanna do. You could do one similar to what I did for the um, tie front top, the purple top crochet tutorial. And yeah, I suggest that if you're gonna start your border, start in the middle of the garment because you'll be able to go all the way around seamlessly, but I'm just going to single crochet where I'm at. And just single crochet all the way around. There's no format about how many single crochets go in each row or anything. Just make sure they're not too close or not too far apart. And just single crochet all the way around. done with placing my single crochet all the way around I'm just leave it as is without doing any other border but you could do the peacock stitch and all of that as your extra juice crab stitch boom bam boom bam boom and do what you do how you do what you do yes if you have reached the end of this video leave me a bunch of heart emojis below I would love to share a couple of y'all work at the end of all my next videos so just DM me at Ladria LaVey and let me know it's okay to post your picture and share your beautiful creations. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up this video, turn on the notification, and I'll see you back here. Y'all play too much, I gotta go.